Hey everybody, welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic. We're on the Paladin today, and we are going to be working our way back into these mines where I think we will find the Stone Splitters, Skull Thumpers, and the Seers that we need. Now, we had seen some Skull Thumpers far to the north, but there weren't any Seers up there, only Shaman. Oh, look at that, they have a merry little band. Four of them. Well, that seems fun. We don't need any of these guys, but we are going to have to clear some of them out in order to make our way back to the mine. So we might as well start doing that. Well, here's a skull thumper, so that's a good sign. We can thump skulls too, though, with Hammer of Justice, so... At least he didn't skull thump us and then run away. That would have sucked. Oh, we don't even have to go all the way in. There are some right out here. Also, we have the Seers as well as skull thumpers, so we might not have to go too far into the mine right now. Although there's no guarantee they won't send us back there for something else. I don't think I want to jump down there for that, because I'll probably have to go all the way around in order to get back up. Maybe we'll get it on the way out. We have to kill 10 and 10 of these guys, which is a pretty damn big number, if you ask me. Alright, the Seers cast Lightning. I'm wondering if they also heal. It doesn't seem like it. Alright, so since we need 10 and 10, we, we probably are going to have to go into this mine, unfortunately. I don't think we're going to find 20 out here. Unless the respawn rate is as cranked up as it tends to be, then we might. take a look back here and see what's going on. Ooh, that's a, uh, that's a shaman. We don't, we don't need any of that. Not as of yet. Oh, so much for pulling him out. Oh good, we've got a couple. Watch him be able to blast right through this. Oh good, yeah, he actually had to run out here. I need more mana. 
you need more mana? Well, that's good. You actually need more health, though. My mana is low. Oh, we got some buffs there. That's very useful. Mark of the Wild. Okay, Mark of the Wild is not as good as I thought it was. I thought it provided stamina. It gives armor. All attributes by two. Maybe it's not terrible, but... It's a little bit more indirect than I think it is in retail. As far as the buffs that it offers. Holy shit. Why did those guys aggro? Come on. Oh good, we've got respawns already. Very fun. How many do we have? Like 17 following us now? Can we like maybe drop a couple of them? Oh, we drop all of them, I guess. I don't need to drop all of them, I just really don't want to fight 17. So once again, due to the incredible respawn rate, oh, we might we might be okay. If these guys are going to clear through here, then we might survive. I was going to say we're not going to be able to explore this place thoroughly, unfortunately, if the respawn rate keeps up. But if we have some help, uh, it might make a difference. Oh, good. Oh, that was stupid. We could play this game all day, I guess. And by game, I mean the game where we pull too many guys, run away, leash them, and then run back and try to do it again. It's not very fun, but it is what it is. We're still aggroed by something, but who knows? It could be anything at this point. Oh no, it's these assholes. Like, hi there. You're not even on my aggro chain anymore. Why the fuck are you aggroing me? I don't get it. Somebody else had clearly tagged him. I'm still in combat with something, who knows what. He's, I saw the other player looking for the mob too, he was as confused as we were, obviously. Somebody is doing some voice over back there, like through the wall, and I don't know who the hell it is. Gromug. He's like yelling at us from behind a wall. I don't I don't know why that's happening. Oh hi. Yeah. Oh good. Where the fuck did all four of these guys come from? Excuse my language, but this is a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of whatever's going on. Not a huge fan at all. In a minute, everything out here is going to respawn, and that's going to make this little maneuver basically impossible. So the next time we get jumped by four guys, like literally there were four, I don't really know where they came from or how they aggroed. If that keeps happening, we are going to die in here. <laughs> Just plain and simple. We already have almost all of our thumpers that we need. We need five more seers. Those are the ones that are a little bit harder. 
Okay, I'm looking around. I'm not seeing any enemies. I'm going in this room. I am tabbing. I only see one enemy, so that seems okay. Let's go ahead and try to fight just him. I don't see four more enemies anywhere, so we should be good for the moment. Okay, I see two guys back there. We're not going to mess with them if there's anybody else around. Yeah, there's two of them. Let's just go another way. We could take two of them, but what's going to happen is I'm going to pull both of them, and then something else is going to spawn on top of us. And then we're not going to be fighting two, we're going to be fighting four. Because apparently when you're pulling things now in Classic, you not only have to accommodate for what is already existing in the world, you have to keep in mind what might respawn around you while you're fighting said creatures that you can see in the world. Basically, you have to have precognition, or you have to use some kind of mod to track respawn timers. I'm sure some of you were thinking that. Well, guess what? I don't use add-ons, and I think if you need an add-on to track respawn timers, then you need to go play a different game. Sorry. Just my personal opinion, of course. Uh, you guys got this. Yeah, no, no dice. I'm not going in. He dodged from behind. Perfect. Perfect. These are bone snappers. Like, I don't even need some of these guys. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How many guys have I killed that I don't even need? Probably way too many. Okay. So we got Bone Snappers, Skull Thumpers, and Seers littered through here. I'm curious as to how these guys actually got up here. Like, for real? Alright, well you guys are awesome. Those people, those are, those are Class A players up there. Real professionals. They managed to get up on that ledge, so... I can't get up there. I'm not gonna waste time trying. We are going to make our way back out. And we're going to see if we can find the five enemies we need out. I officially don't really care for this cave. Oh, well, look at that. How did we know that everything would be respawned? Of course, there are none out here. You're a shaman, we already know that we don't need you. And the ones down there are just trogs, so we could just hang out for a minute. Yeah, here we go. I say they're gonna respawn lightning fast, obviously. They don't know how to do anything else. Alright, one more seer and we can get out of here. I have to kill these guys on the way though, otherwise we're going to get in trouble. That spell is 
All right, we're out. And now we just try to evade all these guys, because we don't need any of them, we just need to go turn the quest back in. I have this bad feeling that they're going to send us back in there to fight a named guy who was talking to us through the wall, and I really am not too interested in coming back to that cave, actually. It could be that I'm just growing tired of fighting trogs. That could be a real thing. I do feel like it's basically all we've been fighting for a pretty long period of playtime. Oh boy, we got 18 hours played so far. Um, and we still don't have a lot of buttons to press in combat. I'm really finding that the Paladin so far of all the classes I've tried has been the slowest pace when it comes to just combat. You're just really waiting for those white swings on a two-handed weapon that swings really slowly. Let's see. You accomplished your mission well, human. The king himself would be proud. The reinforcements promised to us never showed, however. Apparently, the Alliance front is a sea of crimson from the blood of our fallen brethren. The news of the losses leaves a bitter taste in one's mouth, but we must not let their deaths go for naught. We must rally in these grim times and bring glory back to the Alliance. The quest will have you believe that there's this like really big war going on. Safe travel. And you can participate in games like Warfronts, or not Warfronts, <laughs> Battlegrounds, and whatnot. You can do some PvP, but uh, yeah, there's not, a, there's not a war going on, guys. <laughs> Come on. I mean, not out in the world. No. It's just flavor for the story that doesn't really exist. Let's see, another defense of the King's Lands. The Mountaineers tell me you are quite brave and capable. We need a human like you around here. The Trog problem isn't getting any better. The reserves have been called to the front and we're all alone out here. But now that we have a seasoned paladin here, we'll see what you can do. Go out and kill 10 Shaman and 10 Bone Snappers. Uh, do I have to? Because that just sounds awful. Uh, now, Bone Snappers and Shamans, I mean, we saw a Shaman, we saw... We saw some Bone Snappers. <laughs> I do not know that I want to go back over into that area right now. I might, I might instead go look for Crocolisk meat. That might, that might be something that we could do. We could cut around this way and see if we encounter any shaman or bone snappers on our way, but uh, the prospect of going back and fighting 20 more trogs is not really too high on my list of things I want to do right now. Yeah, it wants us to literally kill 20 more. Um, hmm, no. That gets a little bit too grindy when it's like, hey, go kill 20 of this type, and then, hey, immediately go back out, kill 20 of this type, don't accomplish any other quests in the area. Don't see anything new. Uh, just kill 20 more guys. That's just grinding. I mean, if I wanted to go just grind for experience against monsters, I could just play like any Asian MMO released by NCSoft ever. I could go play Black Desert Online. At least it doesn't make a premise of having quests. Nobody here we need, of course. Just a bunch of lowlifes. Yeah, I'm going to cut around to the lake. Get, get attacked by all these spiders.
I will say almost after almost 20 hours the Paladin is a very survivable class. You can sustain yourself quite a bit in combat if you're careful and you're saving your cooldowns. Has a lot of survivability. It would probably be a very easy class for a new player to learn like if you're completely new to MMOs which I don't know how you would be in the year 2020 but if you are and you want to get into the genre and you're starting with classic then a Paladin would be a good place to start. But as you can see, it's it's not going to be a lot of button pressing in combat. You are literally going to be judging and recasting your seal and then judging it. We don't even have Consecrate yet. Eventually we'll get more abilities, uh, but we won't get that many more abilities, I don't think. Not abilities that are actively used in a combat rotation. Um, on the Warrior, I do feel like we had some more buttons to press, but it could just be that we were pressing buttons faster as Fury, which was the last spec that we played on the warrior was dual wield. Not a lot of crocolis scout today. Here's one. Let's see if they want to drop any meat for us though. Yeah, it's gotten to the point where, like, I could do the rotation without looking at my action bars. So there's that. I saw a couple over here too, so let's cut, cut across the lake here. And we can check out the trogs that are up here and see if any of them are bone snappers. I know there are some shamans. Because eventually we will have to clear to get Bingle's missing supplies. But same problem, mob density too high. Um, just causes problems for us.
There's two of them there. Yeah, I'd prefer just to pull the one. And there's one over there, too. Well, we found the island that all the crocolists like to hang out on. Unfortunately, they must not have eaten recently. They don't have a lot of meat for us. I don't know why. Seems like they're pretty meaty, like we could probably get meat off of any of them, but... Maybe we're killing them the wrong way. Alright, that's all the meat we need. Let's just scoot up here to the north and check out the trog situation. If I never see any more trogs after we leave Loch Modan, I will be pretty damn happy. I've never had a specific mob type just start to annoy me, seeing them over and over and over and over and over again. So it's a little strange. Then again, uh, I've quit caffeine as of yesterday, and I've been having just one cup of green tea in the morning, as opposed to like the typical five to six cups of coffee that I would have all the way throughout the day, all the way till 9 p.m. So, it's entirely possible that things that have not annoyed me in the past uh, will slowly start to annoy me in the present. I would say a, a, a mob of five guys is like pretty damn annoying, though. Let's pull this one out. Yeah, we have Shaman up here and we have Bone Snappers, but they're so dense we are going to have problems. <laughs> I can already tell you that. At least we can kill them in a different spot, though. At least we don't have to go back to that same damn cave area. That would have been right annoying. And somewhere around here in all this uh, trog mania are Bingles missing supplies. Of which we have found the blasting capper. We found another piece, but we simply couldn't get to it because of the mob density. Notice a theme. This guy's a shaman, so what's going to happen is uh, I hope that I could pull him, but I hope he doesn't heal himself to full. We'll save our judge, our hammer of justice, for when he does start casting his heal. There we, there it is. Okay, perfect. And we just need to kind of scan for items on the ground that we can click on. Not seeing anything this way. Guy's level 16, so with our crappy equipment, we just aren't doing a lot of damage to him, apparently. Inventory is full. Lovely. A lot of junk, but none of it is Bingle's supplies. Well, I don't really know. Skull Thumper, we don't need you. Not at all. All the guys we need are probably standing in this enormous camp of guys, so... Can pull this Bone Snapper out. Hey, look at that, that's what we needed. A big old distraction. Looks like a higher level character coming through and rounding these guys up. I'm okay with that only because it lets us come through here and check for the supplies we need. Like the tool bucket over here we're going to grab. Never would have cleared that on our own, I don't think. Oh, oh, we didn't get it here either because, uh, yeah. Let's just keep getting hit, it's fine.
Now if we can find the other stuff. Oh, oh good. Who did we not see? Oh, hello. Inventory is full. Oh, I know. I know the inventory is full. So it's not good. Okay. I will take full advantage of this. We don't need, um... We don't need these guys, so... Well, that warrior is riding off, so whatever he has cleared is cleared. It's all going to respawn basically immediately. So let's do a, a sweep here. And let's see if we can't find this last item. It's probably not even going to be on this island, unfortunately. It's probably going to be somewhere totally random. But yeah, you'd think it would be here, but it isn't. Well, his, his heal's gonna go off before our Hammer of Justice is off cooldown. Oh, he didn't even try to heal. Lovely. Yeah, we've already gotten this item from over here, so I have to assume that the last item is gonna be on a different island? I, uh, I don't know. We can check this island over here. Oh, here we go, on this tiny little island over here. And it looks like the camp is still cleared out. Probably have time to grab this. Brilliant. Uh, we know that he is down here somewhere. Bingles for that turn in. We don't need Sears. I'm tempted to go turn it in, uh, because like I said, I'm not really having a fun time fighting all these trugs. Definitely something I feel like I can do another day. Uh, if we run in here, we're going to have huge trouble. Can we pull this guy out? Yes, we can. At least he ran that way.
son of a... <laughs> Hit the wrong button when I meant to go for the hammer. Hit something else instead. Not this time. Shit, we're gonna have to heal deal with this guy healing. God. Well, we can heal too, so let's show him that. I'm sure that'll impress him. Nice crit. We're getting some nice crits, so shouldn't complain too much. We actually might need that cape. Also wondering if I have anything in my inventory that we could equip. I don't think so. But we can certainly equip that. That's an upgrade. We've been wearing a gray cloak. Probably since about level 1. If I had to guess. Alright. Four more shaman. They're obviously like the least of the types that are present, but... Oh, someone else is also here clearing as well now. Which doesn't help us as much as it would have helped us when we were looking for the items. You're a bone snapper. We don't need you. All the guys on the far end have respawned, so let's go check some of them out, see if we can single out any shaman. Ah, uh, what do we got? Seer. Thumper, Thumper, Seer, Seer. Okay. Uh, Skull Thumper. I don't need any of these jerks. Where are we going to find the guys we need now? Are we going to go to one of these other islands? The one island was just full of crocolisks, so... That's not going to help us very much. We could just wait for all the respawns, I guess. It's probably going to happen any minute. These guys, a few of these were shaman. There's one. Our buddy didn't see him, thankfully. Not gonna take the chance of that going off.
Yeah, these are all seers and skull thumpers over here. Totally useless to us. Back on this island to the south, there were just crocolisk. There weren't any trogs that I had seen. And so, you know, our options are a little limited. And by limited, I mean we're basically going to be waiting for respawns here. Unless we wanted to run all the way to the south. Uh, to their other encampment. And that means we're just going to have to kill them as they come up. Regardless of whether they're the type that we need or not, we are going to have to defeat them as they respawn just to keep them out of our way. And to prevent them from causing future problems for us. Here we go. Oh, shit. I'm really good at hitting the wrong button at the wrong time. It's actually a talent I have. I'm well aware of that. I can't hey, get out of my hitbox, dude. Stay, stay right there. I don't like it when they, like, insist on standing inside of my character model. It's not necessary. I could have swore... I, oh yeah, here he is. I, I, I know I saw a shaman somewhere. Don't know where he went. Here he is. Pull him over here. Whew, one more shaman. Where is he at? Who is the lucky shaman? I swear, guys, after this, I don't think I can fight any more Trogs, honestly. Not on the Paladin, at least. The combination of, like, the Paladin's slowness in combat, not having a lot of buttons to push, having no movement to deal with, and fighting the same enemy types over and over and over and over again, uh, that makes for a little bit of a droll experience. In my opinion. And since I'm the one playing, I get to have an opinion, so... There it is. Now we're going to be forced to run away again. As we pull every single caster uh, for some reason. Never really sure why. It seemed like we were fine. Uh, and okay, there they go. They're all, all We pulled three of them. So among those, um, there might have been a shaman. But I think it was a seer because they were casting lightning. And I don't think the shaman do that. Yeah, the seers are the ones who cast lightning. So that's not anybody we need anyway. Not really worth fighting to get to the ore. As long as we can find a shaman pretty quickly, we can just get out of here. Alright, let's go. We're going to run down the coast. We're going to turn in Bingle's missing supplies or whatever the gnome's name was. And then we're going to hearth back to Thalsimar. Because I think that's going to be our easiest route to go turn this quest in. And just we'll cross our fingers and hope that it doesn't change anything else. However, we know that somewhere back in this cave there's a named enemy that it's like almost guaranteed they're going to have us go back there at some point. Yep, leave me alone. Uh, he was at the meridian line of the zone, so somewhere around here. Should be getting close. Probably up by this machinery, maybe. If we're being smart. So 
surprised we didn't pull either the bear or the crocolisk there. That's incredible. All right, Bingles. Pleased to meet you. You've done the movement a great service. The trogs and leper gnomes infesting Nomergon will soon feel the brunt of the gnomish air assault. Cool, that sounds awesome. We won't get to see it, but... You have a great day now. Sounds like it would be a cool thing to experience. Let's go ahead and equip these gloves. We don't really need the agility at all. We don't need leather at all. Uh, well, the armor rating is pretty close. I'm just going to take the stats at this point. We've probably been wearing these same gloves forever. So yeah, in, in Classic, you can wear whatever armor type you want as long as it doesn't exceed the heaviness of the max armor type you can wear. So on the Paladin, for instance, we can wear Chain. Uh, we'll be able to wear Plate at 40, but that means we can wear anything we want if we so choose. It's usually not a great idea. But we're doing it in this case. We're going to sacrifice the 20 armor for some stats, intellect, and agility. It probably won't get us a lot in the end, but it's fine. And we'll teleport back to the inn, and we're going to take a break here. When we come back, we'll run down to the guard tower. We will turn in in defense of the king's lands, and we will probably end up killing more trogs. Whew! I know. It's going to be exciting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you guys being here, and I, I appreciate the support. Thanks so much. Take care, and we'll see you again soon. Bye now.